So I woke up after a hundred year nap, got my sword back from a computer to save a lady I just met, and my old friend became a ruthless dictator. So how's your morning going? I'm no authority by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just a passing video maker. Remember that, as we journey through the decade that was, as we look forward to the ten years to come. Now, if only Sega would keep him in this type of game instead of shoehorning Classic Sonic into every anniversary just because it's an anniversary! And today on The Quarter Guy Loves Mega Man! Now I can't wait for what they have next. Maybe a secret agent who keeps a fishing rod in his attaché? Hey, nothing's too weird for video games, am I right? Boom! Silence. Now you'll feel my true power! <laughs> What? Copy X is evolving. Congratulations! Your Copy X has evolved into Serifex. Wait, that's not good. Yes! Eat shit! Boom! Several tries it took me, but finally got him. Boom! But hey, what would you expect from a game that came straight out of Party Central? Communist Party Central, that is! It's literally eSports at this point. Seriously, the classic Tetris World Championships is hype as shit. Boom! Tetris for Jeff. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a look at several Tetris Arcade games and see just how things have changed with something that's pretty hard to mess up. Unless you're Ubisoft. One of the more unique variants of Tetris is Capcom's Magical Tetris Challenge starring Mickey. Yep, the Empire of Disney has even touched the realm of Tetris. They'd probably try to buy Nintendo if legal laws allowed it. Seriously, look at this thing! The joysticks look like they were made for an old kid's game show! I am of course referring to the legendary Crucible known simply as... Tetris The Grandmaster Series. On the surface, this is a basic Tetris game. Drop blocks, clear lines, score points, bingo, bango, bucks in six. But Arika wasn't done yet. Five years later, Taito published Arika's final game of the trilogy, Tetris The Grandmaster 3 Ultra Instinct. I, I mean, Terror Instinct. Boom! Looks like we've been spotted. And here we go! There's the stair. Let's go. <laughs> you are a funny Reploid. He's not a Reploid. And pick up our brand new toy! I hold out the chain like this. And then I can pull in an item like that. Or I can go all Tarzan. As Servo told me, you're so well designed that I can't believe you're an old type Reploid. I want to see her inside, so do you mind if I rip you up? Ah, no, 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 no! Hand check! Hand check! Thank you very much for your support, Zero. We appreciate your continued support. Yeah, I'm really not sure that your attack's gonna have the success you think it does. Whoops! Ah, no, 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 no! Oops! Hey, those guys look familiar. Okay, let's do- let's check this out. Oh boy, this- this does not look good. Yeah, I need- we must. We must help El Pizzo. Help him? I say we need to discipline him! There he is. Oh, you must be Zero! Uh, did you forget who I was? Ha <laughs> I'm so glad to see you again! Well, I guess he didn't forget. <laughs> Time to meet your end, X! And release the Dark Elf! No! X, no! X! Oh my god, no! God damn it, Elpizo! Boom! But there are certain moments that just twist your perception, make you question your state of mind, or simply make you wonder what the fuck is going on! Like that wagon scene from that one Grinch cartoon! Hey, the Wonka Tunnel scene was already taken. 
And hey, remember when you used to make paper airplanes as a kid? Well, this dimension turned them into deadly weapons. Am I high? Should I be expecting to see buffalo wild wings in the sky? Find this room where this Shiba Inu is just messing with all the controls and turning James Day into an insane asylum fever dream. Nah, James, it wasn't your guilt-ridden conscience causing these monsters to run about. It was me, now gives me foob! But it's the third one that's the most messed up of all... Did the game just start over? It's like if I were talking as usual and all of a sudden a blue screen of death popped up! Note to self. Do not tempt fate. So now the fools seek to return to the past and undo the future that is a coup. I mean, Gygus. My TV just turned off in the middle of a room. The volume just went nutso on me. There are bugs crawling across my screen. My inventory just disappeared. My save files just got erased. My GameCube just blue screened on me. And I want to get out of this madhouse already. It's honestly telling that this system influenced some other horror games as well. Sanity systems show up in games such as Amnesia The Dark Descent, and more recently games like The Sinking City and Green Hell. Let's be honest, these fear-inducing effects are a big part of why Eternal Darkness is such a cult classic to begin with. With how it messes with you on every level, you may question your own sanity. But then again, sanity is a requirement for our kind. I'm the Quarter Guy, and until next time, the arcade is closed. Now you're asking for it! Um... I'll blast you to pieces! That's not working for ya. <laughs> Omega, the evil Reploid banished from Neo Arcadia. He's pretty tough. Yeah, I'll say. And there he is. The series' true villain. <laughs> I am Vile. You may call me Dr. Vile. There we go! Sub-tank! And probably the most annoying sub-tank in the Zero series to obtain. But... I did get it. Thankfully, I won't need to worry about any of that again. Wait for it. It'll open up occasionally and throw out... Bees, my god. I don't think Vile is uh, resting on his laurels. He's got a plan, and it is not a good one. So he's trying to jump right in and take the Dark Elf. Understood. Then there's no time to waste. Is this wasteland what you people call justice? Vile! Uh, Harpoia, don't do it. Don't do it! Ugh. I... I am... You're a fool, Harpoia. And you know things are bad when Dr. Vile decides to revive the most evil of all evils of all time in all v timelines... Ancient Egypt! The boss must be close. Hello again, Anubis Necromancis. The fifth. Oh, they know I'm coming. Yep. There are a lot of spikes in this stage, I will say that right now. The heart is what counts, not the body. The heart is what counts, not the body. That is foreshadowing. The heart? I have a feeling of foreboding. Oh, and bees, my god. So Vile basically sent out his attack dog. Approximately 90% of all Reploids and 60% of all humans were wiped out. This... This is the whole reason that this series is... that the series is happening right now, folks. Because of all of this. We've got a tyrant to stop. It's time for a rematch with this guy. A game late, but better late than never, huh? We've got Nightfall, we've got Seagulls. Flowers on top of the resistance base. Also, there's some fish in the harbor here. There it is. 
the gateway to the final battle of this game, and probably my favorite final battle ever, still, to this day. It's time for the final battle against Omega. That thing is huge! And it's got replicas of uh, X and Zero on the uh, shoulders. Oh, here it comes! <laughs> this is it, people. The most glorious battle ever. Ha! It's over. All right. The Z Saber is the only weapon I have equipped, and it's all I need. Die, Omega! At least fictional military conflict makes for entertaining media to consume. War movies, cartoons about super soldiers, anime that only serves to highlight how much war sucks. Wait. And a guy who single-handedly mows down legions of Nazis because fuck Nazis. So let's take a look at the history of Metal Slug and what made this series such a hit. Yo, Joe! Developed by a group called Nazca Corporation, which would be acquired by SNK later that year following the game's success. The people there must really like geoglyphs, I guess. So, two soldiers against an army consisting of, oh, um, only about 20,000 enemy troops. I almost feel sorry for the cartoon villain. I say attack instead of shoot because... Marco, let me see what you have! A knife! No! Actually, that works well in close range. Never mind, carry on. And the announcer's voice as you grab these items is meme-worthy. Heavy machine gun! Shotgun! Rocket launcher! Of course, you're a big target in that big tank, and not quite as mobile, given that tanks can't jump. Wow, no wonder Morton wanted this thing so badly. Rescue the POWs, which by the way look like they spent the last three years on a deserted island, onto the enemy supply train. That doesn't look reminiscent of anything. Now, I won't say that it was aliens, but it was fucking aliens. And they join Morton's mooks until you reach him, when the Mars people turn on him and abduct him. Because, of course. The final battle is basically Independence Day, with Morton soldiers helping you fight the Mothership because they want their fearless leader back. The destruction of the Mothership even pays homage to that cheesy movie. Oh, boys! I'm back! See what I mean? Players can get transformed in weird ways, like getting turned into a mummy, or even getting morbidly fat from eating too much, only to lose all that weight after a while. That does not sound healthy and that the real Morden has been abducted by the aliens. Again. Give me a big, fat three! Where we find Morden being tortured, and we bust him out because we're a bunch of goody two jackboots. Seriously, he's tried to take over the world twice. Can't we just, you know, leave him in there? <sighs> Fine. And, uh, why are we just letting Morden get away like that? <sighs> Whatever. For one, in the second mission, you could get turned into a zombie. Or... Are we still calling them walkers? No, wait, that's the wrong series. The plot picks up with a cyber terrorist organization called Amadeus. Um, okay. It's here that the Patelemic Army's true objective is revealed. Summoning a giant demon. Now that I think about it, SNK seemed to have a thing with the number six on the Atomus Wave. Metal Slug 6, Samurai Showdown 6, Six Fighters in a KOF 11 match... Eh. Strangely enough, SNK decided to place this one after the events of Metal Slug 3. Seriously, SNK, can you make a linearly consistent timeline for five minutes? Well, folks, start writing. This is the same plot we've seen before. Okay, that's different. So now Morton's caught with his pants down, there's a new enemy to deal with, and we're dealing with it because, again, goody two jack boots. They don't have to reinvent the wheel, they just have to make sure it's full of air, free of holes, and slap the fresh set of rims from time to time. Boom! Shoot! Dr. Vile is trying to bring us back! Not if we can help it. By the way, uh, oh, there's our hero! And they don't always drop them, so... Instantly this becomes farming, and instantly this becomes an old Eagle Raptor reference. Hey, we don't have the jingle anymore? Alright, time for a kick-ass Reploid remix. Yep, that's the problem with this forest. Nanomachines, son! 
Wither and die. So yeah. We're going in through the uh, barrel of a particle cannon. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like Vile is... Vile thought the golems were passe. Oh. Yeah, that's the particle beam. So first we gotta take down the control tower and then we gotta find the computer room. Oh, hey, look, Mentors. Another one of these shifting in. Ah! Now let's fry some chicken. We found the computer room. Now we have all the sub tanks in the game and we don't need this anymore. After all, you are a hero. <laughs> that sounded like you're mocking me. This doesn't mean I like you, you know. B Baka. Area Zero in this settlement must be sacrificed for the greater good. Greater good? Are you crazy? Um, this is an attack on the press. Let's break into this joint. And break Nage out. Looks like we're gonna turn down some noise. So yeah, that crab is walking on the ceiling. I need to work on my spacing. Whoop. Doesn't help to be frozen either. Apparently the true purpose of Ragnarok was Dr. Vile's giant Death Star wannabe. Seriously, the dude's about to go Maverick right in front of us. Someone has to take a stand and fix humanity's course. Even if it means doing something that insane? You don't even care about collateral damage, do you? Ha 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 ha. Look at it, laugh it up. Oh my goodness, this music is ominous. Are you ready for this? Get ready. See that? See that face? I never cared about justice. And I don't recall ever calling myself a hero. I have always only fought for the people I believe in. I won't hesitate. If an enemy appears in front of me, I will destroy it! This is it. The final battle! Now, one more. Die, you fascist scum! You're finished! Boom! Such cataclysmic events can really have an impact, whether they're natural, supernatural, or completely man-made, just like in real life. Seriously, there are times I wonder how we've managed to survive this long. Now, I could talk about gaming industry disasters, but enough people have talked about that already. It's a series that earns its E rating. Yeah, E for eerie. So now the fools seek to return to the past and undo the future that is Primal Dialga. And it gets even worse. That disease, it's actually the ultimate form of Darwinism in the form of one hell of a steroid. Can't handle the power? You die. All for the purpose of finding someone who can... evolve into the seventh true dragon. Um, yeah, so much for social distancing. And the last thing you see and hear is the demonic visage of Majora's Mask. And then Link wakes up back under Clock Town as the clock resets. And then you do everything in your power to make sure you never have to see that scene again. Because protagonist duty. Main Mario game. Oh no, Bowser took the princess. Hurry, we gotta go save her. Super Paper Mario. Broken nihilistic dandy is trying to erase all of existence by fulfilling a prophecy of destruction. Rated E for everyone. But no, he expects us to endure this battle even when Black's minions are in the way? That is bullshit blazing! Dude, my heart is blazing! If the word kill me! <sighs> well, shit. Hold your own as long as you want, but progressing the story means condemning all those people to a fiery death. Like the Geneva Convention doesn't even exist in video games. Not gonna lie, that army of demons kinda look like Megaten fans wanting to storm Atlas HQ for news on SMT5. Not that I can blame them. However, one fateful day, they decided to bring in a more unstable crystal because it was the most pure sample they had obtained. Never mind that the crystal exhibited unusual spectral fluctuations, Furthermore, the staff increased the output of the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%, in spite of the objections of one of the project leaders, one Eli Vance. Never mind that the device's safety buffer zone is under 90%. When Square Enix announced the end of the original Final Fantasy XIV, they put up one final quest, in which one of the world's moons began slowly descending towards the Earth, Majora's Mask style. However, unlike Majora's Mask, you couldn't just Song of Time the Disaster away because this was an MMO. 
Of course, considering how bad the original game was, I guess it could be considered a disaster in its own right. Boom! Henshin! And our journey begins as Mega Man Model X. But I will say this right now. My main complaint with ZX, it being a Metroidvania, this map. Take a look at the warning, specifically the W. Work is important, but you should study too. She must be a mom. It'll be too late to go back and study when you grow up. Don't be so sure about that. I wish the roads were a little more convenient. Yeah, you and me both. I really like this theme. It's really upbeat and uh, really catchy, actually. Oh, hey, this looks familiar. Attacks aren't necessarily the same, but the idea is very similar. It's like they're reenacting Central Highway from the original Mega Man X. Oh boy, here we go. Hybrid Rise! Model X and Model Z are about to combine their power to create something brand new. Here we go! Those Mavericks won't know what hit them. This is Model ZX, the hybrid Mega Man. The power of two heroes united. All right. Oh, great, spiders. This signature, Cyber Elves? Cyber Elves? What are those? Yeah. He doesn't know. He wasn't... This That was before his time. Here's the thing, though. I don't want to attack the weak point. Even though it causes massive damage. Oh, uh... I should do something about that flashing G in the upper left corner, right? I want to see Mommy and Daddy! I want to go home! Well, hopefully I'll find their Mommy and Daddy. I'm going to keep scanning the city for any hot scoops. <laughs> Good luck with that. I'm so worried. Could you do me a favor and go check on him? Well, Karen, have you tried talking to the manager? So this is the obligatory. I. The obligatory ice level. Now I got the W tank earlier in the Let's Play by using Model ZX to. Continuously attack this particular doll here. It takes a minute or two. Not sure if I can actually get another one, but... Ah, I can! There, that's how you get a W tank. And all that work... ...was for a sub tank. If you get hit by a blue one, your controls will reverse temporarily. Ah, uh, there's a red one. That temporarily disables your weapons. And as you can imagine, both of those effects are freaking annoying from the supply containers. Those are in area L. All the way back here. So after that, we have to go all the way back through and back to the teleporter to get back to the Guardian base and hand this back to Mugay. And to get to Area J, we're going to have to go back through Area A. And we mean all the way back in Area A, as in, like, past where we started. Remember when we got that flower for that one side quest? Yeah, we're talking that far. Youth is wasted on the young. And power is wasted on fools like you. Sis, she must have gotten away while the others protected her. Serpent really is a snake, isn't he? Do you have a special someone? Someone that means more to you than anything? Aw, that's so sweet. Then that means Model W is... Yes. The soul of that man contained in a fragment of Ragnarok. That's Model W. God damn it. Even death couldn't stop Dr. Vile. He's been living vicariously through Model W for all this time. 
All that's left is to reach Model W before Serpent can. Easier said than done, though. Especially when something like that in the way! It almost looks like Dr. Vile. We get to fight four special bosses that came from Mega Man Zero 3 in this room. Here, we have a Z and four lines, indicating that the bosses from Mega Man Zero 4 are in this room. This wouldn't be a Mega Man game without Yoku Blocks. Actually, the Zero games really didn't have Yoku Blocks, actually, so... <laughs> That's right! We're facing Omega Zero! In fact, he might even be stronger than he was in Zero Three. Well, well, looks like they've opened up the red carpet. Luxury elevator, even. Though, spikes don't really fit the corporate theme here. Second floor! Going up! Whoop! Up! No! 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 I don't care about ruling the world! Serpent, if you want to be the Mega Man destined to rule the world, then I am the Mega Man that is destined to save it! There's only one person that can stop you, and that's me! Boom! Raise your hand if you got nostalgia from seeing that classic startup. For reference, it outlasted the SNES and Genesis, the N64 and PS1, and lasted until about halfway through the lifespan of the GameCube, Xbox, and PS2. Using similar cartridges to the MVS, the AES was a simple console in structure, and came with a fight stick for a controller. How about that, a console known for a lot of fighting games having a fight stick for a basic controller? And don't even get me started on the Atari 2600. I understand the 2600 is the very definition of classic, but if you tell me that it replicates the arcade experience, I'll just show you footage of any arcade port on the thing. I just need to bring up Pac-Man to perfectly explain my point. When you adjust for inflation, that's $1,275! You could buy a gaming PC for less than that! The final stage is a boss rush which has all the mini-bosses in a row. No! The thing about dying here is that you typically respawn with little to no progress lost, which is the lone mercy in this game because the difficulty here is ruthless. Not only does it take getting used to, but it makes it harder to dodge enemy projectiles, resulting in unhealthy levels of... THAT. You can move left and right, and by holding down left or down right, you can use an emergency... As it turns out, the scientist you've been trying to rescue is actually the bad guy, and when you see him, it should be obvious. I mean, he's basically Eggman's dad. But once you get to the final boss, if you're playing solo, the other player's indicator turns to game over. That means you have only one credit to learn the enemy mech's patterns and defeat it, or all the effort of shooting enemy soldiers and dodging enemy fire... is rewarded with a bad ending. That is bullshit blazing! Still my heart is blazing! If the word kill me, I don't need a new word on there. Boom! Yeah, that's pretty much why everyone wanted Ash to be the, the, the character I play as. Because Booty. I'm going to go ahead and meet our Booty face to face. Booty! Alright, so... According to the actual map we have this time... The train is this way. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I, I, I have to do this. <clears throat> Iwae! Zen Rokuma no Chikara o Ketsugi. Jiku o Koe. Kakoto Mirai o Shiroshimes Toki no Oja. Sono namo Rokuman Modere. Masani Seitan no Shunkan de Aru. I had to do that. Mega Man, chosen one. A girl? No good, you lend power. So, is that guy a sexist? If so, instant. Idiot. There you'll find detailed explanations of other moves as well. Ahem, <clears throat> of course, but first, ahem. <clears throat> Iwae! Zen Rokuma no Chikara o Ketsugi. Jiku o Koe. Kakoto Mirai o Shiroshimes Rokuma no Oja. Sono namo Rokuma Modere Buckfire Ama. I'm gonna be making that reference a lot. 
I'm gonna sell these beauties to earn enough money to become a hunter someday. Yeah, good aspirations, kid. Iwe! 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 And now we get a Kamen Rider style transformation right before our eyes. Ahem! Iwe! Doyara Sanya no Rokuman no Chikara ga Keshushi! Tabun! Mirai o Soshutsu Tsuru Rokuman no Oja! Sono namo Rokuman Zekse Torinity! Kito! Aratama Rekishi ga Sose Sareta Shunkan de Aru! Yeah, I went with a variation of the Zio Trini- of the Zio Trinity? Iwe for this one? Okay. Are you ready for this story here? Are you ready? Ash, you are my distant offspring. They really pulled the the I am your father bit here. Well, distant descendant, but still, same idea. Oh, but it gets oh, it gets crazier. Okay. Are you ready for this? Because what we're about to get is what I think is the absolute worst line in the entire freaking game. Model A. In other words, Model Albert. Model Albert. Model Albert. Seriously. Model A's abilities and play style, for the most part, was based off Axel. Everybody knows this. And we get this thrown at us in the end? Okay. Has a god complex, wants to create new life, uses Euroboros, named Albert! This is another version of Wesker! Boom! Oh, we've already got two. Oh, switch. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Are we. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hey, wait, what? Hold on. <gasps> oh! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! snap! Oh, snap, literally! Oh, fucking snap! Holy! <laughs> it's, it's back! Snap is back! <laughs> yes! <Ooh>. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you! Ooh, can we get Labo VR support? Oh, that would be great! Score money! Yes! <laughs> it's oh. snap! Pukamuku! Ooh, look at all the po Pokemon! That looks like- and they look- They look so oh. dynamic! Oh, this is so cool. Not actual gameplay footage. New Pokemon, New Pokemon snap. snap! Oh, developed by Bandai Namco? Wait, It's under construction. Ah. ah. Oh. Pokemon Snap. Was released on Nintendo yes! Finally! <laughs> the time has come, and so have I. Son of a bitch! Really, Adam? Boom. This fight's a good first exam to cap off an intro that fans can appreciate, unless your name happens to be Anakin. Oh my God! Linkara has been warning us all this time. The evidence is right in front of us. Ancient Egypt cannot be trusted. So imagine my surprise when I first stepped into that teleporter standing between me and this prissy pants, only to find the robotic descendants of both Kabuto and Gatak staring me down, not one to wait for carbon emissions to cause a climate catastrophe. He may just end up putting you on ice. God damn it, who snuck all these ice puns into my script? <sighs> Terra me! Magma Dragoon's pride, Spark Mandrill's AI. You're the commander! Freaking fight like one! Note, baby elves may cause side effects such as headaches, confusion, loss of control, and grotesque mutations. If you experience any of these symptoms, please contact Dr. Light because baby elves may not be right for you. Oh yeah, it's later. Yep, this guy's been reading Naruto and studying every page. Only thing he's missing is the Izuna drop. And even after tanking a full blast from his own Death Star, the Mega Man franchise's own Emperor Palpatine refuses to allow anything to remain unscathed. But given the origin of Model W in the ZX games, I have some advice for Capcom should they decide to make that third ZX game. Tread carefully. We do not want another Rise of Skywalker. Boom. 
and I'm fairly certain that the failure of the Saturn outside of Japan came more down to the US and Japanese branches butting heads than the system itself. That, and the US didn't have Sega to Sanshiro. A high fantasy beat-em-up from the golden age ah, of the genre. And the last we've seen from this franchise was 2008's Beast Rider. Oh yeah! We don't talk about that one. So the axe after which the series is named is a weapon created by the divine survivors of a brutal war between the gods and a ruthless race of giants. Figures, wars involving gods may as well be on the high fantasy bingo board. You can immediately tell that he's the bad guy from his name alone, but just to hammer the point home, Sega decided to give him glowing evil eyes of evil. And finally, we have the dwarf, Gilius Thunderhead, whose brother died trying to protect him, and has had the most recurring roles in future games among the heroes, as well as the most cameos in Sega crossovers. Having a long lifespan means you get more exposure, I guess. Also, Adder's Lair was the best track in All-Stars Racing Transformed, do not at me! And Axe has... Explosion! Later, you see one of Adder's men tormenting a helpless peasant. Yeah, in case you haven't noticed already, the cruelty is the point. So it turns out the village was literally on top of an actual giant turtle. Village is on top of animals. There's another space on the bingo board. We reach the throne room, where Death Adder's body forms from... snakes. Oh, I get it. Yeah, he ain't all that. Even Cream the Rabbit isn't scared of him. Speaking of which, Sega, please release that thing internationally. You will make a ton of money. A literal ton. Seriously, I'll find someone to buy you a theoretical scale so you can weigh all the money you'd be making. Anyway, so years after the original game, Death Adder is back and wreaking havoc o'er the land from his very tyrant-looking castle, and Dora, a Centaurus whose weapon came straight out of American gladiators. Also, as a nice little detail, Dora can morph her lower half into human legs to ride monsters. PSA, Centaurs are not mounts unless they volunteer to be. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. The stages themselves are quite a bit more involved, including places where you can save caged villagers. Always do this. I don't know what it gets you, but do it out of the goodness of your heart. This is your shopping cart test, people. Show me you're capable of self-governance. And finally reaching Death Adder's castle, where we... Wait a minute. Did... Did Hellabs actually rip off Sega? My whole life is a lie! So, how would Sega take the classic series forward in such a day and age? Why, with a fighting game spinoff, of course! And Death Adder, who is back yet again. I swear, this guy's like the Shredder of high fantasy. It's like the Courier from the early Samurai Showdown games, except this is the only way to fill your meter. Get the original composer on the project, and you'd be golden. I am 1000% not sorry. Boom! Bingo! Okay, looks like the transfer went without a hitch. Hey there, friend! Under normal circumstances, I would've just teleported right in myself, but I do appreciate the setup you got here just for the theme. The elephant in the room, however, is... well, the room. And the Zero series had mythical creatures like Pegasi, Krakens, Mandragoras... And Chicken! <sighs> Hi, uh... So tell me, QG, what would you say is the laziest thing you could do for a boss fight? Well, personally, I'd say it's taking a mini-boss and promoting it to a full boss fight while changing literally nothing else. Wait, Capcom did that, didn't they? Oh no, they didn't do that! Oh good, I figured they'd be too dignified They to... promoted three! Oh yeah, those. We've already dealt with these guys in previous stages. The first in the opening stage, the second in the polar camera stage, and the third in... Uh, what's going on? Well, we've ripped into four bosses, so by Zero Series standards, that means it's time for the obligatory intermission stage and the boss that comes with it. Oh, okay then. I suppose it can't be that bad. I mean, what could be worse than throwing three mini-bosses together? Well, how about a tank that feels like it belongs in a whole other series? Hmm, I don't see that being too much. Shop. Ah, kick my third and fourth eyes, why don't you? And he's got his own flames prepared to keep the fear lit. Okay, um, question. He? Apparently Foxstar was revealed to be an effeminate male in one of the drama tracks. This was also in line with the actual legend of the nine-tailed fox. Ah, well, so much for gender diversity. I want to cut female replots in half, too. We already covered Soul Titanian. Ah, well, at least he access more. Yeah? I don't have a problem, I swear. You don't understand. Mino Magnus could have had class. He could have been a contender. He could have been somebody. Instead of a bum, which is what he is. This master of Magnet can go suck on some ex-chicken for all I care. Welcome to die! 
The beginning difficulty and rate of progression may vary, but this forward growth is important to a challenging yet fair- Hey kids, wanna see a difficulty spike? Stop screaming! We had fried chicken just six segments ago. I'm not talking chicken. I'm talking HOT WINGS! Who will want to remember having to cross the routine of getting violently molten by this obnoxious bag of- Excuse me for a moment. Oh no. Operator, we are at code red! Count Shaman's rage just broke! Initiate emergency restraint procedures ASAP! It's lucky to manage his way out into being a complete series, because had this been the first of the games I played, I'd be surprised if it got the chance to bounce back after... The FUCKING LET'S PLAY CURSE! Boom! With Mega Man coming back into relevance with a new game and a bunch of collections, Monster Hunter more popular than ever, Devil May Cry returning to its main timeline, Resident Evil... Okay, that one's a little mixed, but you get the picture. Which leads to the elephant in the room. And by in the room, I mean buried under the floorboards like the Telltale Heart. But we fighting game fans hear it. Dear Lord, do we hear it. But among the various experiments that Capcom made, the one that fans remember the most was a little series called Darkstalkers. AKA what will probably happen in the minds of the Street Fighter team after binging monster movies from Blockbuster. It's enough to make your blood run cold. No! We do not talk about that eldritch horror! Ever! Morgan Ainsland, a succubus who used the same sprite for literally years. Awesome rock on her. Yes, already! The idea went way beyond your typical roster, which mainly included your typical wandering martial artist, military man, wrestler, etc. These characters were unique to the genre and really made Darkstalkers feel like it was something fresh and new. Like Mother trying a new variation on her old apple pie. And now I'm getting hungry. Please, sir. I want some. More? Capcom had originally intended to use the title Darkstalkers Jedi's Damnation for overseas releases. My guess as to why that plan fell through? Ah yes, the most horrifying horror a video game can face. Censorship. In an article on Famitsu from 2014, former Capcom fighting game producer Yoshiori Ono said that a game at the time needed to sell 2 million copies before a sequel would be considered. So, how many copies did Darkstalkers Resurrection sell? Boom. Uh, yeah, we're on a roll. Let's do one more. Yeah, one more. Are you sure? It's already 4:40 over my, over where I'm. Same. I it's, yeah, so just, we got, but we got time for one more. Just one yeah, more. Yeah, just one just, more, and that should do it. Yeah. I need to do my the rest of my Animal Crossing chores before Jack shows up, and he's not the psychomaniac. Honestly, he escaped Psycho Killer with a chainsaw and a hook! That's some total drama. Yep. Alright. Honestly, go. I'm glad they changed the Halloween event so you don't have to worry about losing your stuff. Yeah. In Animal Crossing. <gasps> Hundred oh, times battle! Shoot. Okay, I got the left side. I I'm, I'm, going, I'm taking the I'm right taking the middle. I'm falling quarter guy! We let's go! Let's freaking go! Oh! They're in danger. Come on, Come on. ten, nine, nine eight, 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 seven, seven, seven six, six, five, five four, four, three, two, two one, one game! Home! Ah. Oh yeah, baby! And yeah! Okay, I'm ending it right and there! That's, we're yeah, ending, that's that. like we're ending it there! Boom. Video games have taken many forms over the years, from radar dishes, to arcade cabinets, to plug-and-play units, to wallet-destroying parasites on Steam. It's Ridge Racer! Ridge! This was the earliest system seller for the PS1, and helped get Sony's foot in the door after Nintendo slammed it in their faces three years earlier. And think about its launch! Full backward compatibility! A built-in DVD player! 
Enhanced processing power. A mediocre launch lineup. But the original gave Sega some much needed hope for their... Oh no! So, who even needs Skyrim anymore? I certainly ain't given Todd Howard my money. Guess even Space Marines aren't immune to viruses. And when your system comes bundled with a game that is tailor-made to show off your fancy new motion controls, then I can't think of a better way to market your system. Except maybe two guys rolling up in a smart car to Japanese music. But hey, that ad campaign was genius. In fact, if I had a nickel for every time Mario had a launch title that didn't help sell the system it was on, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's kind of sad that it's happened twice, right? Boom! There are some winter-themed ones, like Snow Brothers, and there are some Christmas-themed games on consoles, like Christmas Nights and Santa Claus Saves the Earth. <laughs> now, there are two kinds of people in the world. Those that say that Die Hard is a Christmas movie, and those who are wrong about film. Which reminds me, how come Streets of Rage was never in arcades? You'd think a beat-em-up like that would be perfect for the arcade. So, we got terrorists led by this old guy named Wolf Hongo, who looks absolutely nothing like Hans Gruber, who have taken hostages in this office building, one of whom is the daughter of an unnamed president, and oh my god, does her model show how dated this is. Next, QTE leads to the bathroom, where... Oh, fuck, that's an anti-tank rifle. Oh, fuck, that's an anti-tank rifle! Making our way to the roof, we see that McLean's now barefoot, and his clothes are in tatters. Because it wouldn't be Die Hard if McLean's feet weren't killing him. Of course, employing 80s action flick logic, you're able to take him down and confront Hongo. This whole building will explode in five minutes. But you won't live to see it anyway! <laughs> five minutes. Yeah, as you can imagine, you have roughly DBZ time here. Yeah, remember Double Dragon? I hope the pay's really good. You know, maybe McLean should have taken her up on the bodyguard job. Speaking of which, Sega, I am once again asking for you to localize the Astro City Mini. Do you realize how much money you're leaving on the table? I'm trying to avoid going on Amazon! How was your evening, honey? Oh, it was nice, relaxing by the pool, having a swim, kicking terrorist ass. Yikes, the emulator was not kind of this game. So next we find ourselves in the engine room, and after dealing with the thugs there, and somehow not causing more damage to the ship than the pirates themselves, suddenly, crack it. Eventually, you reach their hideout. At least I think it's their hideout. I mean, there are a lot of islands with evil-looking skull formations, so I guess I might be wrong? Nope! Exotic animals in cages, this is definitely the villain's hideout. What? Tell me how these guys split into multiple copies. Lots of me! Thank you for saving my life again. Yeah, I didn't need sleep tonight. The placement of set pieces, the way the cutscenes are set up, the setup of QTEs, this is pretty much a shot-for-shot -shot remake of Dynamite Cop with an Asian coat of paint. I'm the Quarter Guy, and until next time, Merry Christmas to all, and yippee ki motherfucker!